We're now in the center of Dion. There's a very picturesque bridge here with a very interesting tea house. Life is in full swing here, cultural life and culture-free life. But I expect life in the tea house to be rich in culture. This tea house has a star rating in the Chinese Tea Club Association. So we'll get closer and find out why it's rated. I haven't been to this tea house before, as I usually visit the villages in China, and tea houses are mostly in the cities. So I'd like to see what a real tea house looks like. Check out the level of their knowledge and see what kind of tea selection they have. The tea house is pretty big. It feels like the bridge was purpose built for it. The sign says the old tea house was built 10 years ago. 10 years is not really that old. But it shows when tea culture began to blossom again in China. Not the tradition of casual tea drinking. A girl gave us a tour around this part of the tea house. Upstairs, the tea tables are set in Sichuan style. They smoke here, drink tea at the same time, and play mahjong. They don't want to miss anything. And now we're going to the most beautiful room. <laughs> they showed us the room. It's decorated with tribal art hand-stitched embroidery, silver jewellery, traditional murals and paintings. Art made by local people that live here in Dion. I wanted to show you what selection of teas they offer. I can see the menu was edited with stickers. They offer five varieties of white tea. Bai Hao Yin Zhen, Bai Mudan, Shu Mei, along with two Yunnan white teas. Well, one. Ye Guang Bai is a white tea. The other, Zhui Shan Bai Cha, is more like Sheng. And a few varieties of Mao Jian, local from Duyun. The price for a tea session here starts at 168 yuan, which is about 1,500 rubles, and goes up to 680 yuan, which is around 6,000 rubles. 
They have two kinds of Dan Kong oolongs, Dongding oolong from Taiwan. They offer only one Taiwanese tea, which costs around 2,300 rubles, 268 yuan, 198 yuan to drink a Dan Kong. Lao Tong Ji, a shupua from Haiwan Tea Factory. Tuo Cha from Haiwan. Lao Tong Ji Sheng Cha from Haiwan. Bai Liang Cha, a Hei Cha from Henan. They have Xiao Zhong from Fujian, Dian Hong and Jinjun Mei from Wuyishan in their red tea collection. And Duyun Hong, that's what we had here, a local red tea from Diyun made from the Mao Jian variety. It was very good, by the way. And these are the prices for a cup. They pour the tea in a plastic cup for you. 25, 38, 48 yuan. Multiply it by nine to know the price in rubles. 200 to 500 rubles for a small cup. Very interesting spot, very saturated. Although some of the design solutions are rather peculiar, the rooms are very cozy. They all look more or less like this one. A table, sofas, or a few chairs around. Upstairs there's a big hall where locals come to simply have a glass of tea. I can't say I like it that much. It's a casual local tea house, just a bit more ornamented. And here are some of the more traditional rooms. Generally speaking, they have a good selection, about 30 different varieties of tea. Although we have 10 or 15 times more than that in our tea club on the Chisti Pruda in Moscow. Or indeed in any of our tea shops. They're saying that it's hard to find yellow tea, especially handmade. I said I can give you my contact info and I'll tell you where to find it. Altogether the atmosphere is nice. Nothing special, but very cozy. There's a lot of space for a tea house. This room, I would guess, is about four or five square meters, and there are 15 rooms. Great to have so much space for a tea house. Each room is decorated in its own style. You need around 300 square meters to build such a tea house. Speaking about Russia, that's the main obstacle to building a large tea house because of the very high rent. But it changes the atmosphere completely, having two or three separate rooms in a tea house. It's really nice. We're going to finish our tea now. Another journey awaits us. We're going to Zunyi in the north of Guizhou province. On this beautiful note, we're leaving Dion. Enjoy your tea and see you soon. This is what a casual traditional tea house looks like. It's very far from tea culture. There's basically a tiny shop and a table with a few chairs. You often see such street shops in Asia, not just China, like in Vietnam. In China, you see them in the south, Sichuan, Guizhou, Guangxi and Guangdong. Old men are their main customers. It's a 50-year-old tradition, or even older. They smoke, drink tea, very casually, no ceremony whatsoever. Usually they drink green tea, well in the south they do. Here they drink the local Mao Jian. You can spot old tin tea boxes or tanks. They used to be popular all over China. Now they barely ever use them for storage, maybe in Guangdong. In Anhui, they also like to pack tea in these. Here I've only seen them in this shop. Usually they use normal cardboard boxes. As I can see, it's an annex to the building, so they keep the tradition going. There's the owner's apartment, and a small annex for a micro-street tea shop. Looks very sweet.